Alright, well, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Just uh, been real busy at work and really ain't had a whole lot going on as far as uh, farming content goes, but I did have a little bit of a side job come up where got a buddy that has a fab shop. He needs me to take this inch and three quarter square stock and about three and a half inches down from the end needs me to take it down to I believe an inch an inch four hundred and ten thousandths it's for some sort of shaft between uh, some sort of valve and an actuator I don't I'm not really sure but uh, Figured I'd bring you guys along just in case anybody's interested in seeing a little bit of machining work. I am by no means a professional. I know enough to get me in trouble, that's about it. But I try my best and I'm still learning. Basically, according to the print, these pieces need to be 8 inches long, which that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to square one end off, flip it around, take it to 8 inches, and I got this 1, 2, 3 block set up right here, clamped down. That way I can just butt it up against that 1, 2, 3 block because... I'm going to have to rotate this four times to get all four sides cut down to one inch 410. And I'm still getting my uh, collection of ma machining tools built up, so I'm sure there's certain things that you're going to see me use that wouldn't be your first choice, but I'm working with what I got. As long as the part comes out the size, all is well. This machine is about as old school as it gets. No power feed, no readouts, no coolant. She's an oldie. All right, well, I got the end mill switched out for the face mill. I've already touched off the end and moved in three and a half inches. I'm going to start up the mill, bring the knee up until I touch off. And then what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to take three fifty thousandths passes and one twenty thousandths pass on each side. And that ought to bring me down to a 1.410 square. So, 
Phase converter started back up. Fire up the mill and touch off. down to the end here I'm just going to run it off of each end just to make it square All right, well, I got all four sides milled down, and I got it standing straight up and down in the vise here. I got to drill a hole in the center for a the hole's going to be nine sixteenths, basically down inside the socket that the shaft goes in. There's a, a socket head bolt. And they want a hole in the center of this so it'll go down over the head of that bolt. So I'm going to use this here edge finder, find my edges, move into the center, and drill it out to 9 16 Well, there you have it. One square shaft. Pretty simple job, but I always enjoy running the milling machine or the lathe. I'm sure there'll be more to come. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, thanks for joining me.